Hi everybody, it's Miss Debbie again. Today I want to talk about something that you see everywhere and you may even hear them outside. I want to talk about birds. I love watching birds. I have many bird feeders out at my house to watch birds. But before we talk about birds, we need to sing our song. I've got my auto harp. You ready? Here we go. Good job, guys. I hope you sang along with me. Well, let me put my auto harp down. And I think I'd like to show you some pictures first of some birds you might see around your house outside. The first picture I want to show you is a pretty bird. What color is this bird? Is it yellow and black? This is a goldfinch. I can't wait until they start turning their yellows because in the wintertime they go to brown. But boy, those male yellow goldfinches get beautiful colored yellows. Oh, here's one you might see around a lot. What is that? It's a robin, isn't it? We could tell it's a robin because it's got a red breast. Sometimes you hear them called robin red breast. You see them around a lot in the summer. Some even stay over winter. but. You see a lot more in summertime. Oh, this is a pretty bird. What color is this bird? Red. Some people just call him red, a red bird. But this is a cardinal. This is a daddy or a male cardinal. They have those beautiful red feathers. I picked this bird to show because we have these birds around here too. On my way home, I pass some place where I can see a nest of this type of bird. Do you know what kind of bird that is? Did any of you say eagle? Yeah, that is a beautiful big bird. That's an American eagle. And that was a big bird. And this is a tiny little bird. Do you know what kind of bird that is? It's a hummingbird. I love to watch hummingbirds outside. I have hummingbird feeders. And it's a lot of fun to watch these little tiny birds eat from the feeders. Well, I want to tell you a story about one of my very favorite birds. And in this story, it's a little bird whose name is Pete. And Pete lived on a hill. And this hill was covered with snow. Must have been winter time, huh? When it was cold out, Pete had a beautiful black coat that he liked to wear. It was so cold though, when Pete walked along, he would hold his head down to try to stay warm. Let's put it in. There we go. But it was snow on the ground, and Pete loved playing in snow, and he just couldn't resist to kick that snow with his feet. Pete was out looking for his friends. They wanted to play all together, and he didn't know where they were. So he walked along, till finally he heard a noise in the distance, and he picked his head up. And he looked, and there were his friends. Pete was so excited, he ran toward them, flapping his wings, and said, hey, it's me. 
and they looked over and said, there he is, there's our friend Pete. And they played in the snow for the rest of the day. Do you know what kind of bird Pete is? Can you tell? Well, he's got a white belly and he's got some black wings. What type of bird is he? Did you say penguin? He is. This is a penguin. And I like penguins. I used to work at the zoo and I got to pet a penguin. If you ever get to pet a penguin, you'll see that his feathers are very, very soft. They are a little stinky because they eat fish, but the feathers are so soft to touch. And there's Pete. Say bye to everybody. Wave. Bye. Bye. Okay. I want to talk about the different kinds of nests that birds make. Let me show you some things. Do you know what kind of bird that is? That's a woodpecker. And he makes his nests in a tree. Look, look at that sharp beak he has. I bet you he made these holes in the tree too. But there's a bigger hole up here with his babies where he laid her, she laid her eggs. And they grew up living in that hole in the tree. This is a hummingbird. We talked about them earlier, how tiny they are. Look at this little tiny nest and she's got, how many babies do you see? Let's see, one, two, two babies in that nest. Ooh, here's another bird that makes a nest in a tree. Do you know what this is? Did any of you guys say an owl? Ooh, what does an owl sound like? Let's make an owl sound. Generally, you'll hear them at nighttime. They come out at night. But they also find bigger holes in trees that they use for their babies. See, there's the baby in the hole in the tree. I have a pretty interesting one that we don't really see around here. Look at that nest. This is a red oven bird from South America. And he takes mud and she takes mud and they make a big ball with an opening for their nest. And that's where they raise their babies. This is one of my favorite birds too. I'm from Maryland and this is a Baltimore Oriole. But look how interesting the nests are. They hang down like that. If you ever see a Baltimore Oriole, you'll see what beautiful colors they have. They're mostly orange and black. And they're a very pretty bird to see. I have some things to show you of some nests that I've collected over the years. Now, I only collect the nests if it's winter time and they're on the ground or I think I've even got one after a big storm hit and the nest blew out of the, the tree and the birdies weren't there anymore. But let me show you some nests that I have and what birds made these nests. First one I want to show you is the biggest of all the nests I have. This is the nest of a robin. Let's see, here's a picture of the robin. This type of bird made this nest. You know it's a robin's nest because robins like to use mud. And I don't know if you can see, but all around in here with the twigs on top of it is a nice layer of mud to make this nest nice and sturdy. Let's see what else I have. Ooh, let me show you this nest. This nest looks a little bit different and look what's in it. There's actually an egg I found in this nest. Now, this nest I found in the winter time, and it still had an egg, so I don't think that egg was ever gonna hatch. But this is the nest of a cardinal. Look how different it looks from the other nest, the robin's nest. 
He used leaves and twigs and I don't see any mud. Different birds make nests different ways like some of the other pictures we saw. I have one more nest to show you and it's the littlest of my nests. This is the nest. This is a nest of a finch. It's the littlest of those birds that we were talking about with nests, except for the hummingbird. That's the smallest. But this is a finch nest. And this nest I like because of some of the interesting things they used in making the nest. Look, they got fluff from somewhere. I'm not sure where. But there's fluff even in down in there for the birdie, babies, for the eggs. But my favorite thing they used was grass from an Easter basket. Look at that. Can you see this plastic green? They use all kinds of things to make nests. But look at that. He made an Easter nest, I guess. So that's one of my favorite nests, too. And when you're out walking, you can look up in the trees and see the different nests. Now you don't want to take a nest if mommy birds are needing them. So leave the nests up in the trees. But when it comes winter time, and if you can take a closer look, you can see how all the birds make different kinds of nests. Well guys, I think it's time for us to get up and do some moving around. Will you get up and do the birdie pokey with me? Okay, good job. Here we go. You put your right wing in, you put your right wing out, you put your right wing in and you shake it all about. You do the birdie pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your left wing in, you put your left wing out, you put your left wing in and you shake it all about. You do the birdie pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your right foot in, you put your right foot out, you put your right foot in and you shake it all about. You do the birdie pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your left foot in, you put your left foot out. You put your left foot in and you shake it all about. You do the birdie pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Where's your beak? Got your beak going? Okay. You put your beak in, you put your beak out, you put your beak in and you shake it all about. You do the birdie pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Do you have some tail feathers? Let's make some tail feathers. Got your tail feathers? Here we go. You put your tail feathers in, you put your tail feathers out, you put your tail feathers in and you shake it all about. You do the birdie pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Yay! Good job, guys! Yay! I have a story I want to tell you and it's about a blackbird called a crow. There was once a very thirsty crow. And as he was walking along, he found a pitcher with water in it. The crow was so very thirsty. He went over to the pitcher and he reached in and he couldn't reach the water. He saw all that nice delicious water and it was just too far down for him to get a drink. Oh, that crow was sad. But he was one very smart crow. And he saw on the ground some pebbles. And he got a very clever idea. So the crow, one by one, picked up a pebble 
and he decided to drop it in the pitcher. Plop! And he'd pick up another one, and he'd drop it. Plop! And he'd pick up another one, and he'd drop it. Plop! And another. Plop! Till finally, he noticed that. was starting to rise up. Oh, he got so excited, he started putting more pebbles in. Pick one up, plop, another plop, another one, plop, another one, plop, another one, plop. And the water started rising even more. He thought, oh, just a few more. And Clinton got one, plop, plop, till the water rose so high that the crow was able to get a drink of that water. Oh, that crow was very thirsty and he took a very long drink because he deserved it. He worked hard for his water. And then off he went, not thirsty anymore. Well, I thought it would be fun if we tried to do what the crow did. So let me show you what I have here. I have a container. I have some water. And I have some pebbles. Let's just see if the water really does rise like that crow did. So first, let's pour some water in. All right. Do we see the water's down here? That's just the water. And let's try putting some pebbles in. Let's see, there's, there's one pebble, two. Oh, here's some more, plop, plop, plop. Let's do a few at a time. Is the water getting up any higher? It looks like it is. Let's try a few more. Let's see if we can get it up to here. Getting closer? Let's see. I see it getting up there. Oops, I dropped a bunch in that time. Does it look like it's getting closer? Remember, it started off down here and now it's up here. So it's getting closer. Let's try some more. Oh, look, we're almost there. Let's see how many more we need to add. Let's see. Let's see. One, two, three. Let's see if it's there yet. Four, five, six. Oh, it's getting close. Seven, nine, ten. Did it make it? Did ten make it? What do you think? Two more? Let's try two more. One, two. Look at that. Remember, it started off here and it raised it all the way up there. And now, if we had a crow that was very thirsty, it could reach that water. It did work. That was one smart crow. You could try this at home too, to see how many stones it takes to make the water get to the top. Look at that. I have some different colored eggs here. Let's see if we know the colors. Let's try. Orange yellow, blue, pink, purple, and green. We need to find the egg that the baby bird is hiding in. So can you help me? I have a little rhyme for us to say to try to figure out what egg that bird is in. And it goes like this. Baby bird, baby bird, where do you hide? Are you in the, hmm, what color should we try? Let's try blue. Are you in the blue egg? Well, let's peek inside. Let's see what's in the, if he's in the blue egg. Okay. That's not a baby bird in here. Look what was in the blue egg. Did you say turtle? It's a turtle. Did you know that turtles hatch from eggs? 
turtle was in the blue one. Let's see if we can figure out where this baby bird might be hiding now. All right, let's try again. Baby bird, baby bird, where do you hide? Are you in the, what color should we pick? Let's do orange. Are you in the orange egg? Let's peek inside. Let's see if he's in here. Are you in here? Are you in here? Oh, that's not a baby bird. <laughs> Look what was in there. That's an alligator. Did you know alligators hatch from eggs? Okay, let's try again. Here we go. Let's put him over here. Baby bird, baby bird. Where do you hide? Are you in the... Oh, I bet you some of you guys like pink. Let's try the pink egg. Are you in the pink egg? Let's peek inside. Let's peek inside. The... It's not a baby bird. It's a snake. Did you know snakes hatch from eggs? We've got to keep on looking. All right. Let's see. How many do we have left? One, two, three. Baby bird, baby bird, where do you hide? Are you in the... What color do you think? Oh, uh, let's try purple. I like purple. That's one of my favorite colors. Let's see if the baby bird's in the purple egg. Let's... Well... No, that's not a baby bird. It's a fish. Did you know fish hatch from eggs? There's all kinds of things that hatch from eggs. And I wonder where that baby is, but we only have two left to try. Let's try again. Can you help me calling? Do you remember what we were saying? Let's try. Baby bird, baby bird, where do you hide? Are you in the green? Okay, let's try green. Green egg. Let's peek inside. <gasps> it was. Look, it's the baby bird. He was in the green egg. Good job if you said green. But we have one more egg. And I'm pretty curious as to what's inside this egg. We know it's not a baby bird, but I don't know what it could be. All our other eggs had things that hatched out of eggs. What else could hatch from an egg? So baby, baby, where do you hide? Are you in the yellow egg? Let's peek inside. What kind of baby could this be? Oh. <laughs> Look what that is. That's a dinosaur. Dinosaurs hatch from eggs too. That's right. You fooled me. I had no idea you were inside that egg, baby dinosaur. Good job, guys. It's interesting to think of all those things that can hatch from eggs besides birds. I have one more thing that I'd like to show you today. It's something you can make. I made little bird puppets. I made mine out of craft sticks, but if you eat popsicles or if you eat ice cream on a stick, you can save those and use those to make your birds. What I did was I took the stick and I took a marker and I colored it front and back. I made this one's body green. I made this one's body pink. And then I had little googly eyes, but if you don't have googly eyes, you could just use a black marker and you could color eyes on there. And a piece of paper, These are this is orange construction paper. And for the wings, I had streamers that I kind of put up at birthday times. So I use that for the wings but you could use tissue paper, you could use napkins, you could use any kind of paper if you wanna put that for the wings and a glue stick to glue them onto the back. 
And then you have two little birds that you can play with and flap around with. The website that I found the idea on is right here. It's on the craft train. And we'll put the link to the website on the Facebook page. Well, I'm so happy you were able to join me today. We have one more thing we need to do, and that's to sing our song. So get your fingers together. Here we go. joining me today, and I hope to see you real soon. Bye!